you guys. So I'm finally happy that I'm able to do this video for you because I know it's been highly, highly requested. There's only two reasons why I have been taking long to do this video. One is because I wanted to try everything out before mentioning it. The original bottles are long gone because I want to try it all out so I can give you my full opinion on it, on the products. Um, another thing is that I try to reach out to these companies to see if they give you a coupon code and surprisingly, none of them wanted to. It is what it is. We're just gonna keep going with it. I will link everything down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Again, please be nice in the comments. What I'm using might not work for you. Everybody's hair is different. And also whatever products you're using or didn't, whatever products didn't work for you, don't discourage others because it might work for them. So with that being said, now let's get into the video. So I don't have much. I try to keep everything very minimal. It's all over the floor right now. So that's why I'm looking down. So we're gonna start with shampoo and conditioner first because I think that's like one of the main things that everyone wants to know because I was looking high and low for a shampoo and conditioner a decent one and I finally came across these two lovebirds which is herbal essence I did pick out two different kinds from you know two different lines that they have I like to mix and match my shampoo and conditioners if you guys do that too let me know down below so I don't feel alone <laughs> but we'll start off with the shampoo it's just a sulfate free aloe and hemp shampoo this is for frizz control and I truly believe it. I washed my hair last night. I did straighten it today, but when my hair is natural, it has like barely any frizz and it just, it makes me want to wear my hair more natural than, you know, doing my hair like this because I, you know, it's not, it's not as frizzy or puffy. It just, it looks decent. Another thing that I really love about this shampoo is the fact that it doesn't dry out my hair. So when I'm using it in the shower, I wash my hair every three days, by the way. When I'm using it, it feels like I'm using conditioner because it's it's so soft on my hair and it just doesn't feel like it's stripping it. I don't know if that's from being sulfate free, whatever else is in here, maybe it's the aloe adding hydration. I haven't had a problem with this. Again, this is my second bottle and normally my hair is picky. Normally my hair wants something else, but this time around, it. It just wants this. I did try something else and I returned it because it didn't work out for me. And I went back to this baby right here. As for the conditioner, this is the Mango Aloe Curl Definer. I love this conditioner. Again, I went to go try something else and it just weighed my hair down. This one, not at all. This makes me feel like I got out of the salon. My hair is very fluffy and it just, it feels like I got a blowout kind of. And I've only had like one blowout in my life and I, I rem I'll never forget how it feels where it's like really, really lightweight. And that's how this conditioner makes my hair feel. It's also paraben free. So you get two in one with this one, sulfate free and paraben free. And it smells also amazing. So with this conditioner, I use it for the lengths of my hair and a tiny bit for my scalp. I try not to put too much conditioner on my scalp so you know my scalp can breathe <laughs> and grow more hair but with both of these products i am in love not just me my boyfriend as well we both have two different hair types and surprisingly they both work for us which is great because we're saving money at the same time i paid six bucks each which is perfect for our budget and it's also cruelty free which i love so like i said i will have these linked down below they are worth trying try to mix and match with lines you guys because i don't know i feel like it things work better that way like shampoos and conditions work better when you mix and match all right now we're gonna get into the hair mask slash treatment i don't have much because i do i am a true believer of you know less is more especially when it comes to hair and skincare so the first thing i want to mention and you guys are probably sick of me talking about this product, but we're gonna do it one last time, I promise. And that is the Brio Geo Scalp Revive Exfoliating Shampoo. I love this baby right here. This is my second bottle. Not only do I use it, my boyfriend uses it as well. He's a big fan. It smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. It doesn't leave your hair smelling that way. When you use it in the shower, I feel like it gets rid of all of that gunk. This is how my scalp looked in August it was doing really really bad and then I came across this bad boy and literally the day that I used it the next day my scalp was flake 
free. I haven't had any flakes in my hair in the longest time. I swear by this product. Now, there is a downside. This product is extremely, extremely expensive. <laughs> it's like $45 for this. And to me, that is expensive because, like I said, I'm not making a lot of money. So, it is hard to keep up with products like this. You gotta really add it into your budget. But for that reason, on the price tag, I only use it once a month, which is at the end of the month to clear everything out. And my boyfriend does the same. So try this out if you have dry scalp, like really bad dry scalp like I was having. Next product that I have talked about, not much, but I've talked about it in my favorites video, and that is the Vegamore Hair Growth Serum. I can't get enough of it. Honestly, I have never had my baby hairs like grown like this. This is all new growth. And the last time I've seen my hair like this was when I was a teenager, before I ruined my hair with, you know, bleaching it. Yes, I was a blonde for a little while. Just doing silly things when you're a teenager, experimenting. So this helped my hair grow back. And a lot of you guys are saying that my hair looks a lot fuller and I, I just, I feel like it's because this product, here are some before and after pictures of what's been going on on my side since August. I've been keeping this a secret since August and the reason for that is because I had the other bottle and I did finish it, but I wanted to see if it really worked and that's why I did like before and after pictures. Once when I took the after picture and I compared both the photos to the before and after, I'm like, oh my God, I need to order this again. So of course I did order it again and this is by far the priciest product I own. Pricier than the Briogeo. This is like 50 something dollars and it's pretty pricey for a little, a little jaw like this. Since it is that much, you know, this product does say to use it every day. I don't have the budget to be using this every day. So what I do is I use it every time I wash my hair which is every three days so as you can tell it worked for me and I just I don't think you have to use it every day like it says you know you can save yourself some money and use it like every other day oh also the scent to it is like orange freeze pop that's what that smells like that's what it reminds me of at least and also a lot of you guys were asking in my favorites video if it's a heavy oil not at all it's more of a satin silk oil it doesn't even act like an oil it's i can't even describe it like you put it in your hand and it disappears it's the weirdest thing ever it feels so soft and then it's just gone you know that's why i was so skeptical when i was using it because i just didn't think it was gonna work because it seemed like i was just using water but it works it works really well and the last two products i have here that i use for my hair is these pros products that were given to me by pros months ago this is actually my second bottle of this they sent me two so let me explain them separately and also this is not sponsored i just really love th these products that they sent so this is the pre shampoo mask now this is not for your scalp this is for your lens so once a month i will put this in my hands you know massage it and put it on my lens you know clean the house let this sit in my hair for a good like five hours and then rinse it out and my hair feels like a silk or satin pillowcase it's so soft i don't even need conditioner when i rinse this out i just use shampoo and that's it they change the scent every time i don't even know how to describe this scent because it doesn't have it on here but it smells like lilies that like white lilies that's what it reminds me of i don't mind flower scents as long as it's not roses i hate the smell of roses i really love this product and when it does run out i will repurchase it for myself so i am happy that pros sent me this because it really helps out with shine also that's the smell of pros products will stay on your hair for days like usually when i will use my shampoo and condition and i'll go outside or you know do certain activities it won't smell like the shampoo and condition anymore but when i use the pros mask it smells like that all the time until i wash it and the last product that i use and love is the pros hair oil now with this hair oil you have to be careful it does come in a glass jar so be careful with that but the main thing is to be careful with it because it can make your hair very very greasy so i use two little tiny dots i massage it in my hands and then i run it through my lens only never put on top of here i only rub it on my lens when my hair is damp and i feel like it brings out the shine i honestly feel like from this oil it has made my ends so bouncy and alive like it doesn't even look like i have any split ends and i do <laughs> you can choose the scents i didn't choose these scents they did for me but um when you're on the website you can choose what scent you want what ingredients you want to go in these products 
and that's why I really love pros. So now let's talk about other products that aren't really like hair products. These are just like products that has helped my hair or along the way with this journey. And the first product is actually behind me. It's, it's those bad boys right there. My satin pillowcases. For those that don't know, Silk is not vegan, so that's why I got satin instead. So those satin pillowcases are not just good for your hair, um, they're also good for your skin. They say that you, it's like an anti-agent, it has an anti-agent effect. So I don't know how true that is, but I have seen a difference with my hair not being frizzy in the morning and not being dry. And I've also noticed less breakage. When I had the cotton pillowcases, the regular ones my hair was all over the pillow so you can tell that I lost a lot of hair overnight these pillowcases never I never seen any hair on the bed on the pillow nothing I purchased them off of Amazon it came with two for ten dollars so five dollars each which is a great deal speaking of satin another item that I love so much and has changed the game for me when it comes to headaches and hair dents I had other scrunchies but I got all black because my hair is very dark and I love these scrunchies I don't get headaches if I was to put my hair up right now to go to the store and then come back home and take it down there would be no dent in my hair from these. Not like the other goodie elastics. I mean, if I would have known about these when I was a waitress, that would have saved me a ton of headaches, literally. So I do put my hair up quite often when I'm not filming. A lot of you guys see my hair down, but most of the time my hair is up in one of these because it is really, really long so it can get really really annoying so when i'm cleaning the house or editing videos i will have it up in one of these and sometimes i will have it like in a low ponytail or i'll have it in a low bun i love them and they're cheap they're just really good for your hair it came with a lot of them I'm not gonna lie i have probably have enough scrunchies to last me till the day i die but <laughs> i'm not complaining because they are a really great product. Another thing that you guys have seen me talk about forever, probably for years now on my channel, this is my pride and joy. This has traveled with me to Dominican Republic, uh, Cali. This has been with me for years and I am obsessed with this comb. I will repurchase it over and over again. I used to have, I was that kind of person to have brushes, like the plastic bristles and my hair would become puffy the minute I brush it. But for a wide tooth comb, it just works so much better. And I will show you guys that the minute I brush my hair, sorry, it's a little tingly for me moving around from filming, but the minute I brush my hair, it's not puffy at all. It just, it's just so soft and that's it. That's how it leaves my hair. And this is why I've been using this little guy for years. It smells like wood <laughs> pine wood i don't even know what kind of wood this is made out of but it used to be a lot lighter than this it got a lot darker over time but still works and i'm gonna keep it with me until it breaks and then i will buy another one because i can't live without this and the last thing that i use i hope it fits in camera is this right here this is my hair towel or hair turban i should say because it does have a little string here and a little button here so i had to look up a tutorial to learn how to do this because it did take me quite a while but this one i had a white one also v took over that one so i ended up getting a thicker one because the white one was a little bit too small for the length of my hair so i got this thicker longer one and it works perfect um it's showing up blue on the camera i don't know why because it's black but um you can choose different colors online i don't advise you guys to choose white if you get white it's going to look dingy after like the fifth time you dry your hair with it but other than that this dries my hair probably like 60 to 70 percent faster than me just regularly air drying it around the house what made me want to switch to this was because i was that person to be really really rough with my hair i would take my body towel and just you know really mess up my hair and you know dry it out scrunch it out with the towel and i was just murdering my hair and i did not even know i came across this and it's been with me ever since last summer and I refuse to dry my hair the way I used to ever again. They are a little pricey, but they last you a long time. The button doesn't come off. The string doesn't come off. I put these in the wash. Don't put them in the dryer, okay? <laughs> um, I put these in the wash. Once they come out, I hang them to dry and then keep reusing it. 
All right, you guys, so now let's just talk about a couple little things that I don't use or do to my hair anymore that's kind of helped with the growth process. So the first thing is I no longer use heating tools every day or all the time. I only use heating tools, like obviously today I did, but I only use heating tools once or twice a month and that's when I am filming. It depends on how I'm feeling that day, if I want my hair straight or if I want my hair curly. But I used to be that kind of person to use a heating tool all the time. Like when I was in middle school, I would go literally 365 days out the year using a a straightener because I was so so obsessed with having my hair like pin pin straight I would literally go to sixth grade and do this in class like try to like train my hair to be straight like my sisters because we have different hair types but I'm glad I got off that face because my hair was horrible put it this way for me straightening it all the time my hair like the bottom of my hair would stick up like this because it was so fried. Another thing that I am doing that a lot of people are noticing in the videos is that I am not dyeing my hair anymore. So I know you guys can't see it because my camera doesn't pick up nat like real colors, but my hair is naturally brown. I don't know if you can see it, but the black ends, the black starts right here, but this is all my natural hair color. It's coming in, slowly but surely, it's coming in. So I wanted to stop dyeing my hair because I just want a break. I've been dyeing my hair ever since I was 20 years old, dyeing it black for that long. I mean, I wouldn't dye it all the time. I'd only dye it once a year, but I just want my natural hair color. I want to embrace the grays that are coming in and just go with the flow. So as much as I love my hair black, I feel like it's time for my natural hair color. To come out. Another thing that I stopped doing is DIY hair masks. The main reason why I stopped doing it is because I don't really have time like I used to back in the day. Back in the day, like I would come home from work and I would be bored and I would do YouTube like every Sunday or every other Sunday and I would just experiment with certain ingredients. Like I didn't have a boyfriend, I didn't have anything going on or things to cater to. So I had time to experiment with certain things for my hair. Nowadays, honestly, like I don't want to experiment as much because I know most DIY hair masks at home, they do more damage than good. So I've been staying away from all that. I do think that aloe is great for your hair, but I just don't use it anymore. I'll just use what I have here and I feel like it works better. And the last thing on my list, that I stopped doing was washing my hair with hot water. When I am in the shower, I do cold showers now. Like not freezing cold, but like pool water cold. You know, the kind of temp that you're, it's okay to take a dip in the water, you know? So I've been doing that and I feel like it's been helping out not just with my hair, but my face. My face is not as dry. Before I was taking like really hot showers to the point where the bathroom turned into a sauna. And V would like go to the bathroom while I was in the shower and he's like, Are you okay? It's like a fire in here. It's so much steam. I'm like, Yeah, I'm just showering. I like, I grew up always having hot, hot showers because it's always freezing in Massachusetts. But now I am beginning to realize like, I don't necessarily need to take a hot, hot shower like that. So I've been taking cold showers where like to the point where the mirror is not steaming up or fogging anymore, so that's good. And I think my skin and my hair is very happy about that. So there you guys have it. That is my hair care routine slash what products I use. I will do a separate video of how I use all these products, a more um, detailed video. But again, everything will be linked down below. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any other tips about hair or you know any other products that will probably work for others, put them down below. Let's help out each other here. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video.